CNN has a new idea to try and dig themselves out of the abyss and move towards relevance again, it's going to be a comical failure. If you don't believe me, let's take a look. It's a quiz show. We're minutes away from the big competition. I am the host of the CNN Quiz Show. What was Bill Clinton's full name at birth? Unlike the other guys, we actually really like each other. And there's Don and Cuomo. They think they know everything. I want to beat Tapper. I want Tapper to go down. Berman went to Harvard, where every president went. I think the team that gets the most right will win. President Nixon was idolized by a teenager in what 1980s hit TV show? The CNN Quiz Show, February 16th at 9 on CNN. I'm thinking of a number. Uh, 60. Yes. It's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. That really looks like a parody. It does. You're CNN. Your job is the news. And now you're doing a quiz show? So you're going to do a game show. And you're going to do a game show just with your shitty hosts on the network. And no offense to these guys personally. I know that they're probably really nice people. Seriously, in real life, they're probably super nice. But you're treating them like they're just celebrities, right? Like they're just celebrities. Like they're Actors or comedians and they should they're just loved because they're them that's not the purpose of CNN that's not the point of a host on CNN the point of a host on CNN is to deliver the news period period that's why people turn on CNN they don't go there to see honey boo boo 2.0 they don't turn it on to see great shows like the Game of Thrones or uh, Breaking Bad or the Walking Dead when they tune into CNN they're tuning into CNN to get the news to get information and you're, they're just like, fuck it, I don't care. We'll keep calling ourselves CNN and we'll just do some really, really guaranteed to be horribly unentertaining game shows. Game shows? Game shows. Did you even bother to look at, like, the ratings for the game show network before you did that? Okay, CNN, you guys have low ratings as it is. But if you do a game show, ooh, is it going to get lower? Nobody wants to hear Don Lemon talk about trivia on a Tuesday. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly stunned by these guys, man. Because that idea had to clear a boardroom. An entire boardroom full of executives and people talking and... Hey guys! I got an idea. What's the haps? That, I feel like that's how they'd say what's happening or what's up. What's the haps, guys? I just picture that in the CNN boardroom. I don't know why. But it's like, they me, okay, so how about we do a game show? You have the old, out-of-touch executives like, oh, I think Mr. Smith is on to something, guys. Game show, continue. Give me, give me why this would be a good idea. Well, take all of our hosts who are so popular. They're such celebrities. Nonsense. I get noticed. <laughs> I get recognized more than any of the people on CNN do. And that's not because I'm really popular. It's because they're not popular, right? P and the power of their personality will make them really popular and they'll get a lot of views on their quiz show. An entire boardroom had to go, I, who's in agreement? I, 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 I. Not one person, not one person in that boardroom was smart enough to go, that's a terrible idea. That may legitimately be the worst idea I've ever heard. Not one person kept it real in the entire boardroom. Not one person. You're a sinking ship, CNN. You're moving faster and faster into irrelevance. You're digging your grave deeper right now. <laughs> Let me tell you what you're supposed to do. And I'm not doing this because, you know, I'm a pompous ass, although that is true, and... You know, I think I have all the answers. It's not about me. It's not about... It's about what news is, what it's supposed to be, what the core of it is. Look at Vice. Look at Vice. You know, Vice went from nothing to this absolute powerhouse. Why? They started doing the real news. CNN, the world is fascinating. It's a really interesting place. But you just don't have the right people who you hired that really care about the world and are passionate about it and talk about the really serious and fascinating issues. I mean, for fuck's sake, Papua New Guinea exists in the world. 
tribal cultures, thousands of languages on this one place, in this one place, Papua New Guinea, right? People walking barefoot through the jungle, because that's just the culture they've been raised in, and they don't get any foot problems or illnesses, because that's just what they're used to. Why are you not doing a story on them, a documentary on them? Why are you not doing in-depth reporting on Syria? It's a fascinating issue. The Civil War is amazing, and it's a, a tale of, you know, willpower and, and murder and warring factions and Shiite versus Sunni and freedom and Assad and all these different things go into it. You're not talking about that. You'd rather do a quiz show. What about the Congo? There's a genocide going on in the Congo. Congo. They got nothing on that. I've never seen anything on CNN about that yet. What about what's happening in Myanmar? The Buddhist violence in Myanmar. That's fucking fascinating. There's so much to say about that. There's so much to learn about that. You're CNN. You have all the resources in the world. And instead, you want to shove fucking Chris Cuomo in my face to answer a question about the bicentennial. I don't give a fuck about Chris Cuomo or the bicentennial. I care about what's happening in the world right now. There's a lot of interesting stuff happening in the world right now. I mean, go do a... a go on the ground... Uh, Get uh, shots of ISIS, do a documentary on ISIS, do a documentary on American imperialism, do a documentary on... There's so many things, I mean, there's a cult of a guy who thinks he's the next coming of Christ. You haven't done that, that's news. So many things in the world that are so interesting and you're doing a fucking quiz show. But I shouldn't even be angry because the reality is because of CNN and because of outlets like CNN... <laughs> We're going to win. New media is going to win all day long, man. Jenk says it best. He says, CNN just handed us like 80% of the audience. They just handed it to us. You know where old media struggles most? What's called the key demographic. Age, I think it's 25 to 54. Because that's the demographic that buys the most stuff. They're most active economically, so the advertisers want to target them. And CNN struggles with it. Their audience is old, over 60... Uh, Fox's average age is like 70. MSNBC is a little bit younger, but they still struggle a little bit. In the key demographic, they're still young, uh, lower, actually, than Fox and CNN because their audience overall is, isn't as big. Uh, but you want to look at the demographics and you want to look at the breakdown of my viewership and TYT's viewership? It's virtually all in the key demo. I mean, if anything, there are some people who are younger like, the, it, basically, like, 16 all the way up through, like, 54 is the people who listen to my show, TYT. We kill... Oh, overwhelming majority of our viewers are in the key demographic. And CNN has been trying to figure out for the longest time, how do we get those guys to watch us? And their fucking answer was, do a quiz show with Don Lemon. <laughs> 